Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, shaded uh, trapezoid ABCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, its uh, side uh, AB is uh, represented by 6 uh, Y minus 1. Side uh, BC is represented by 6 Y minus uh, 2. The side uh, CD is represented by 3 Y minus uh, 1. And finally, the side uh, AD is represented by 3y plus uh, 2. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And now let's recall the definition of a trapezoid. Sometimes we call it uh, trapezium. A quadrilateral with at least uh, one pair of uh, parallel sides. As you can see in this uh, diagram, this uh, side AB is uh, parallel to this side uh, CD. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to height uh, H times uh, A plus B all over 2. And here in our case, uh, this side uh, A is the base, uh, and this is the base uh, B, and this is the height uh, H of this uh, trapezoid. So therefore, now our task is uh, to find the value of this lowercase A, lowercase uh, B, and this uh, height uh, H. However, before we can find these values, we must find the value of uh, Y. That means we are going to solve for uh, Y variable. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, CE on this uh, line uh, AB, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, right uh, triangle uh, BEC. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, segment uh, CD is going to be equal to this segment uh, AE in this uh, rectangle uh, AECD and we know that this side length is represented by 3y minus 1 so therefore this uh, AE length is going to be 3y minus 1 uh, as well and likewise uh, this uh, AD side length uh, is equal to this segment uh, CE if this side length uh, is represented by 3y plus 2 then this side length is going to be 3y plus 2 as well and furthermore let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, side length uh, a b is represented by 6y minus uh, 1 and this uh, segment uh, a e is represented by 3y minus uh, 1 so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, e b is going to be 6y minus 1 uh, minus uh, 3y minus 1. So therefore we can write uh, 6y uh, minus 1 and then minus 3y uh, minus uh, 1. Let's go ahead and subtract. So we are going to get 6y minus 1. When we distribute this negative sign that is going to give us uh, negative 3y plus uh, 1. And here uh, positive 1 and negative 1 is gone. 6y minus 3y is going to give us uh, 3y so therefore uh, this segment eb turns out to be 3y and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, bec whose uh, side lengths are uh, 3y plus 2 3y and uh, 6y minus uh, 2 and now we are going to use the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me call our uh, this uh, longest leg as our side c. I'm going to call uh, this side lowercase a and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 3y. So this is going to become 3y square. b in our case is uh, 3y plus uh, 2 whole square equal to c in our case is 6y minus 2 whole square now we are going to simplify 3y square is going to give us 9y square plus 
And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as uh, a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, binomial on the left hand side. So therefore that is going to give us uh, 9y uh, square plus 12y uh, plus uh, 4 equals to and now let's recall another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square we are going to apply it on this binomial on the right hand side so therefore our right hand side could be written as uh, 36y uh, square minus uh, 24y plus uh, 4 and now we can see this positive 4 is gone with this uh, positive 4 and now let's go ahead and combine the like terms on the left hand side that's going to give us 18y square plus 12y equals to 36y square minus 24y and now let's go ahead and subtract 18y square and 12y from both sides and here we can see this is gone and this is gone on the left hand side as well so therefore on the right hand side 36y square minus 18y square is going to give us 18y square minus 36y equal to zero and now we can see each and every term is divisible by 18 across the board so therefore i'm going to divide each and every term on both sides by 18 so therefore we are ended up with the y square minus 2y equal to 0 and now we are ended up with this quadratic equation let me go ahead and factor out y so we ended up with y minus 2 equal to 0 now we got these two factors equal to 0 let me go ahead and separate them so we got y equal to 0 and the other equation is going to be y minus 2 equal to 0 here y minus 2 equal to 0 means that y equals to positive 2 and here we got y equal to 0 solution and now we can see that y equal to 0 value is not uh, feasible if we plug it in uh, y value over here so y 0 means that this uh, term is going to be 0 minus 2 so that means this side length turns out to be negative 2 and side length cannot be a negative value so therefore we are going to reject this y equal to 0 value and we are going to accept uh, y equals to 2 value so finally we are ended up with this y value equals to 2 let's go ahead and plug it in in this uh, over here 6 uh, y means 6 times 2 is uh, 12 minus uh, 2 is going to give us uh, 10 and likewise over here 6 y minus 1 let's plug it in y value 6 times 2 is going to be 12 minus 1 is going to give us uh, 11 and now let's plug it in over here we are going to substitute y equals to 2 value so 3 times 2 is 6 take away 1 is going to give us uh, 5 and finally let's substitute y equals to 2 value over here so 3 times 2 is going to give us 6 plus 2 is going to give us 8 so thus our side lengths turn out to be 11 10 5 and 8 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid a b c d and now let's recall once again the area of a trapezoid formula h times a plus b all over 2 and here in our case our base a is uh, 11 our base uh, b is uh, 5 and our height uh, h uh, is uh, 8 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so area of this uh, green uh, trapezoid is going to be our height uh, is uh, 8 times uh, 11 plus uh, 5 uh, all uh, over 2 and here we can see 11 plus 5 is going to give us uh, 16 16 times 8 is uh, 128 so therefore that is going to give us uh, 128 divided by 2 and that is going to give us uh, 64 so thus the area of this uh, green uh, trapezoid ABCD turns out to be 64 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.